Hello! We are getting closer to Christmas! It is still November, but I am beginning a little bit with the Christmas decorations, I have to say. And this video is going to be dedicated to Christmas illustrations as well. One of the things I love to do at Christmas is go for walks in the forest and collect all sorts of nature stuff. I think that connecting nature with Christmas kind of makes it feel um, more uh, in tune and balanced, but also just a way to reconnecting with nature in the darker, colder month. It kind of slows the pace down a little bit um, and I absolutely love that. And I actually have a Christmas course dedicated to just that, where you learn to kind of take natural elements and sketch them in ink and wash and translate them into Christmas uh, illustrations if you are up for that. And today I'm going to demonstrate uh, something. This is not something from the course, but kind of the idea of the course. So we're going to sketch a bulb like this with a... This is a glass bulb with an acorn hanging. You can see it's very minimalistic, simple, elegant, and um, just a perfect way to show the simplicity and elegance in Nordic uh, Christmas sketches. Yes, let's go with that. It's perfect for Christmas cards and uh, cards to put on gifts like this. So. Use this as an inspiration and uh, check out the course if you want more. And uh, let's dive in! Now I'm ready here and I've set up with my paper. This is a Canton Montval 300 grams uh, cellulose paper. I have my Daniel Smith paint. I have two brushes I might use. It's a size 4 and size 8 uh, Da Vinci. Casaneo and uh, the one of them is short because I really like to be able to carry it around so the short size is perfect for that then I have uh, two fine liners I have a 01 and a 02 and I'm not sure if I'm which of these I'm gonna use yet but we'll see then I have my pencil and this is a size B or a it's a B <laughs> <laughs> an eraser and we're gonna use this first finally cloth cotton and uh, water and a round thingy this is for a candle but you can see I put my candle in uh, in something else this is actually from a uh, Christmas market last year it's absolutely incredible look at that texture inside Ugh, love it uh, but <laughs> now we're going to use this because this is a um, round and uh, that is just what we're gonna need so you place it here you can use whatever round thing you have of course and then we're just going to use our pencil hold Hold it down so it's not moving. Just draw a circle around it. Like that. Oh. <laughs> like that. And then we have our guide here. In this sketch we're going to do a an acorn. I really like to do nature inspired um, bulbs. Because nature is just such an important part of Christmas in my uh, in my life and I really love the calming effect of just bringing in Christmas uh, or bringing in nature as a Christmas element. So we're gonna hang a an acorn from the top here and um, we're gonna start with sketching a top here putting that in here and this will of course kind of go um, across here so it's not going to be a round bulb all the way so just giving us that edge will make it a little bit, bit more realistic then of course we have a something to hang it with and we will have a string at the top 
But now, let's focus on our acorn. And uh, an acorn is basically a head. Like that. And it has a bottom here, which is the acorn itself. This is going to, going to be a very simple uh, composition. I think I'm going to put a small stem on that. And then we can, of course, hang it here from the top so it has a, it's attached there. So imagine this ball hang, hanging on a, a tree or something like that. That would be looking really cute. Maybe we can add a small something here. But I'm gonna start with my fine liner work. And we're just going to start with outlining um, the top and the round circle here. So just going in here, this is the zero one. And don't be too precious with your lines, just we can go quickly. Of course, the round one here, we want it to be fairly round. So you can go a little bit slower with that. Just turn your paper while you do it. Almost there. Like that. And we can just put in this one as well. And uh, then we come to our acorn. And I'm going to start with the top here. And the top on, a, on an acorn has a really beautiful texture. I'm just going to show you here an example. You can see how it has some beautiful layered texture um, on the top here. So we're going to do that. Just starting at the top, giving us these marks here. And you can make them a little bit in variation in size. But try to see if you can make it look like they are kind of... Um, every time you draw a new one, you want it to meet at the or we'll begin at the the lowest part of the one at the t uh, at above it, so uh, it kind of becomes asymmetrical, like that. And then we can just draw a an uneven edge around it here. And I'm gonna put in the stem. And of course, the acorn itself. And here I can put a small tip at the bottom so it has just a little bit of detail there. And that is actually all for the scale. Oh, of course we need this line here. Like that. I'm going to remove the pencil lines uh, because then we can add a little bit more detail. But first, just taking the eraser. And removing our guidelines. And uh, if you press too hard, this might um, remove some of the ink as well from the fine liner. And um, if it does, you can just kind of um, redo it again if you need to. So I can see, for example, here it's removed a little bit. So I can just go in and refresh it. Also a bit here. So there we go. Now it's refreshed. I'm going to add a little bit of dark details below some of these. Um, and I'll just lower this a little bit so you can see it a bit better. 
So just adding a little bit of dark here below some of these bends. Would be really good because that will give us a little bit more um, depth. Also here below is a good place to add just a tiny bit of that shadow like that. And then I want to give it a little bit of a direction here. So just adding a few lines to show the shape here of the acorn starting at the top going towards the bottom there and we're gonna give this a little bit too so just adding a few lines to show that this is the direction of the top here like that and uh, maybe just a little bit more like that yes and I'm I think I'm actually going to add the this one as well Woohoo! now we have it hanging on something and I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of a branch a fur branch just to give it some greenery so you can just that is just pine needles, really. Could look really cool. Just a little bit of texture here and there. Um, so just drawing some quick needles like that, and I'm gonna put in. I think I'm gonna put in a one that goes down here as well. And that's what happens always when I draw. <laughs> it kind of develops over time, but that's just the way it is. Sometimes it, it's just intuition that sketches, really. I think this looks pretty cool. There's an uneven feel to it, even if there is a, a branch here and a branch here. There's also one here, so we kind of have three up here and two down here. So it kind of breaks the composition. I like that. Um, so now we can start adding our wash. I'm just going to lift the camera a little bit like that. We can add our wash. And uh, here we're going to start with the acorn because we want this glass bulb to be kind of outside um, the acorn. So the acorn and this here um, we can paint. Yes. I'm going to use the small brush. This was a size four. And for the acorn, I'm going to use a brown, warm brown. It's a burnt umber. I'll probably add uh, a bit of cool brown as well, but you can see I'm just going to put in a little bit and then leave some white space. And then I'm going to put in just a little bit here. I'll leave white space and add a tiny bit of green. This is a sap green. Just to give it a little bit of variation in the color and I'm gonna add a bit of Van Dyke brown as well to this and up here also just to give it a little bit of color play and then we can paint the fur branches here very quick hand just using sap green and um, just with the tip of your brush you can add in these pines needles and look how it captures the greens in here really well it's so lovely we can paint this as well and I'm actually going to use a, a paint spray for this 
and I haven't used any paint gray in this um, and that is a problem because it would it, it needs to be tied together a little bit but because we're going to use paint gray for the bulb uh, as well it's okay because then that paint gray around the bulb will reflect on the pine or oh, sorry the acorn as well so that is not a problem so I'm just adding some some gray up here Again, make sure to leave some white space and I'm just going to add an extra shadow here at the sides a little bit there and I think I'm actually going to put in a little bit of green in this as well just because then it'll look like the Christmas tree is reflecting um, this part and that would look really really lovely. So now I need to make this dry completely and we can come back to it afterwards. Now it is completely dry and the reason why you want it completely dry is because we are adding another layer of water and uh, we really don't want to mess with the colors underneath. So now I'm going to take my bigger brush size 8. If you feel like it's too big then uh, go with a smaller brush to be able to control it a little bit better. I am uh, I loaded it with water and I'm just painting with clean water at the edge here all the way around and I am going to put in a bit of Paints gray here around the edge. You can see how it softens out in the water, giving us a nice transition. We are going to work a little bit more with the transition, uh, of course, up here we need to do that as well. And remember it's totally cool to paint on top of the acorn because that is inside. So now I rinse my brush and I'm dabbing it so it's a damp brush. Now we can kind of soften the edge here. So I'm just going around the edge of the water and softening it to make sure I don't get any annoying lines. And I think it is uh, around there. I'm going to put in a little bit more here at the top to get the, the sh more shadow feel. And as long as it's still wet, you can add more. And I'm already really, really liking this. I think it's kind of cool. Just adding a bit more. I do wish it was kind of a little bit more in front of the, on top of the, um, the acorn here. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. Let's see. Yes, like that. That is cool. I'm going to do a few splatters, I think, and then I'm going to say that this is done. Just a few splatters here in, in paint gray. Some of them hit there. That is okay. And um, that is it. And if you want to see even more Christmas illustrations and learn more things you can put in Christmas bulbs, uh, but also just learn compositions and see how to create Christmas cards or, you know, to and from cards like these, and this, and this. Then uh, check out my Christmas course. There's a link below and uh, you are more than welcome to join that to create some self-made love for your Christmas gifts this year.
or Christmas cards if you prefer that. So you can check that out and uh, enjoy your Christmas painting. I love it's super fun. I love to paint at Christmas, so this is incredible. I hope you uh, got some inspiration for your Christmas illustrations and uh, Christmas cards this year. Uh, remember you can also put them on the small uh, tags you put on gifts. So just using these small sketches to put a little bit of love into your presents is such a beautiful thing to do, especially in a month of love and giving. So I hope you will, uh, you will try that. And of course if you want more Christmas illustrations, check out my Christmas course. There's a link uh, here below and I will uh, absolutely love it and uh, hug you and kiss you if you want to follow my channel so you know when there's more. And yes, I think that is it for now. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!